Hey everybody, Adam Mishman here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I may have a guy named Parker Bone next to me. Uh, we're gonna go through some of the new products that are coming out here real soon. I'm gonna start with the Stellar. Um, for anybody that threw a Versamax, uh, runs with Versamax, this is the same core. Uh, it was very, very popular, very, very well received core back in the back It in the really day. was. You know, the, the Stellar, that's a ball when the back ends are pretty fresh. It's certainly a ball that's gonna fit into your bag. But on the right side of the lane, as the lanes go through a lot of transition and start to break down, a lot of the players, the right-handed players, were really complimenting that ball in particular with the Versamax core. They were really looking forward to the new one coming out now with the Stellar. So make sure it's a tool in your bag. The Dynamic core as well in this product. So again, everybody knows what Dynamic core is. It's going to help create a little more carry through the pins. Definitely a little stronger. Helps create a little more carry down the lane too. Moving on to the Zenith. Zenith Hybrid, this is the third Zenith right now. This is the, can fill the gap between the Zenith Pearl and the Zenith Solid that was out a few months ago. Parker's already thrown this ball, so. The Zenith Hybrid has a lot of hook. I'm gonna tell you right now, you, you want some giddy up and go, you want a ball and some oil on the lane and you want a ball to go get them, that's the ball that you need to have in your bag. It's gonna probably be a little bit powerful for some of your two-handed players. I'll say that up front. But when you're looking for that medium player or the, the player that really wants something that's gonna pick up and charge through that heavier oil blend, that's the ball that you need. So how, how would you compare a Zenith Pearl to a Zenith Hybrid? A Zenith Pearl to a Zenith Hybrid, they're somewhere between four and five boards difference overall. The Zenith Pearl, that's actually the ball that I threw. It was ball of choice on the King of the Lanes the other day. But that ball gets down the lane and creates a nice angular motion on the back end. But once again, if there's too much oil on the lane, you don't want the Pearl, you certainly want to go to the Hybrid. Yeah, certainly two great options here. And compa and complement and each other. Each other. Yes, they do. Well. Speaking on the complement each other well, uh, Melee Jab, Midnight Blue. Uh, this is a great complement to the Brunswick Knockout, which has been out for a, very, a couple months now. It's been very successful. Yes. Uh, yeah. That ball's been extremely well. Anything with a Melee core has done really, really well over the years. It's going to be the complement between a Knockout and the Melee Jab Blood Red that's been out yes. for a couple yes. months. So this is going to fit right in the middle of that. It's going to be stronger than the Red, but not as strong as a Knockout. And Parker's actually thrown this ball, so what do you think? The, the Midnight Jab, the Midnight Blue there, I've thrown that ball. It certainly picks up earlier on the lane. And how you're going to notice that, you can watch the way that the ball starts to turn over and tip and where your thumb hole becomes for a split second there. No Not problem. quite your axis, but it's going to get over that much. And then the ball is going to have a really continuous motion on the back end. A stronger cover, I mean, it does have a little bit of polish to it. It's been kissed with a little bit of surface as well. Uh, something that would definitely fit into anybody's bag. Sweet. Awesome, guys. Thank you again. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys it. are awesome.